Hello and welcome back to Shakespeare. We are in Act 1, Scene 3 of Hamlet, and today we get to hear from Polonius, who is a man who's been in the court for a while. He served the old King Hamlet, and now he's serving King Claudius, and he has two kids. He has Laertes and he has Ophelia. Laertes is getting ready to go back to school in France, and yesterday Laertes was telling Ophelia to be careful about her relationship with Hamlet because, heaven forbid, she should lose her virginity to Hamlet, and then Hamlet doesn't get to marry her because he's a prince and she's uh, not of high enough station, whatever, then things could be terrible. So at the very end of this lovely sort of awkward conversation between a brother and a sister, Polonius comes in, and says, yet here, Laertes, aboard, aboard, for shame. The wind sits in the shoulder of your sail and you are stayed for there. My blessing with you. And these few precepts in my memory. See thou character, give thy thoughts no tongue, nor any unproportioned thoughts his act. Be thou familiar, but by no means vulgar. The friends thou hast, and their adoption tried, grapple them to thy soul with hoops of steel. But do not dull thy palm with entertainment of each unhatched, unfledged comrade. Beware of entrance to a quarrel. But being in, bear it that the opposed may beware of thee. Give every man thine ear, but few thy voice. Take each man's censure, but preserve thy judgment. Costly thy habit as thy purse can buy, but not expressed in fancy. Rich, not gaudy, for their apparel oft proclaims the man. And they in France of the best rank and station are of a most select and generous chief in that. Neither a borrower nor a lender be, for loan oft loses both itself and friend, and borrowing dulls the edge of husbandry. This above all, to thine own self be true. And it must follow as the night the day, thou canst not then be false to any man. Farewell, my blessings season this in thee. So I'm guessing that you've heard some of those phrases before because this is very often quoted as being lovely life advice. And some of it is really lovely life advice. The thing that strikes me about this particular speech is if Laertes has already been away at school for some time and has now come back for the wedding and funeral and is going back to school, why is Polonius giving him this advice now? Why didn't he say it when Laertes originally went to school? I'm not sure. For me, it means that I would love to see Polonius played as the comic relief of this show, and this would point to one of the things that makes him really funny, that his timing is way off. But anyway, that's just me. And um, tomorrow, I think we get to hear a little bit more from Polonius, this time his instructions to Ophelia on how she should lead her life. And yeah, we'll see how that goes tomorrow. Mm -hmm.